Now, in this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can connect MongoDB database with your project. So, I'm going to first open my browser and in the URL, I'm going to search for MongoDB. And I'm going to click on this mongodb.com website and click on this sign in. You have to log in with your account in MongoDB. I already have a login. Now, once I log in, I'm going to have the results something like this. I'm going to have the project window inside it. I'm going to create a new project. If you don't know how to create a MongoDB Atlas project, I have a dedicated video on it. You can check out that video from the top right corner of the screen. So let me just click on this new project to create a new MongoDB project. And here I'm going to specify the project name, which is going to be login DB. That's about you. You can specify any name to this project. I'm going to click on the next and create this project. So I'm going to click on this create project button. You can notice you have the project name login DB. Inside that you need to build a cluster. So I'm going to click on this build a cluster button and create a free cluster. So I'm going to click on this create a free cluster. This will just show me the cloud provider. I'm going to choose the AWS Then I'm going to specify my recommended region, which is going to be Mumbai. You can specify any region here. I'm in Asia. So I'm going to choose this Mumbai region Then I'm going to specify here cluster name and I'm going to choose here cluster name login database and then I'm going to click on this create cluster button that will just simply create this new cluster inside MongoDB database. So this will just take one to three minutes to create this cluster. So instead of waiting, we're going to click on this database access and create a new database user. I'm going to click on this add new user, then specify the username of the database, admin and the password, admin one, two, three. Just after that, once you create this database user, I'm going to click on this add user. So this will just create a database user. Just after that, I'm going to click on this network access and click on this add IP address. And I'm going to just add my IP address inside this access list entry. Instead of clicking on this add current IP address, I don't want to show my IP address here. So I'm going to click on this allow access from anywhere and click on this confirm. That will just take some time to activate this IP address. Now, once you have the active status of this network access back to the cluster, and you can notice you have your cluster here. Just click on this connect button and you can notice from here you can connect this cluster with your application. So I'm going to click on this connect your application tab and I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to paste this link inside my application. So I'm going to open my Visual Studio Code editor and then I'm going to paste this link inside my config.env file. Inside this file I'm going to create a variable called mongo uri and then I'm going to specify this link like this. And instead of this password field, we need to specify the actual password. So I'm going to get rid of this password from here. And then I'm going to specify here admin 123. Just for that, I'm going to specify my database name. So instead of this, my first database, I'm going to specify here login db. That's it. I'm going to save this file, close this config.env and create a new file to connect this application with MongoDB database. So inside this server, I'm going to create a new folder and name it database. And inside this database folder, I'm going to create a new file and name it connection.js. Now that's upon you, you can specify any name to this file. Inside this file, I'm going to first require the Mongo's module. Using Mongo's module, we're going to connect the MongoDB database with this project. So what we are going to do is, we need to first install this module inside this project. I'm going to open my terminal and here I'm going to say npm i for install and then I'm going to install a module called mongos. I'm going to install this module as dev dependency. So I'm going to specify here hyphen capital D. When I press enter, this will install this module inside my project as dev dependency. Once you install this module, close this terminal and here I'm going to require that module. So I'm going to say here constant mongos is equal to then call the require function and inside it I'm going to specify here mongos module just from here I'm going to create a function so I'm going to say here constant connect is equal to I'm going to create here a function so I'm going to pass here parenthesis and a simple arrow now I want to make this function asynchronous so before this parenthesis here I'm going to pass async keyword like this so this is going to be the asynchronous function just for that inside this function i'm going to add my try and catch block like this and then inside this catch i'm going to specify error parameter and say 
console.log and print the error message if there is any error inside this drive log and then I'm going to specify here process.exit and I'm going to exit from this project and specify here one so that will just simply exit from this project just for that once you specify the catch block inside this drive block let me just access my connection string so here I'm going to first create a connection so I'm going to add here a comment and say mongodb connection so here I'm going to say constant con you can specify any name to this variable and then I'm going to specify here mongo's module and call a method of it which is connect this method is going to take the URI of mongodb database as you know we have the URI of mongodb database inside this config.env file so I'm going to access this variable inside this file so to access the config variable as you know you just need to first specify the process object dot env dot and then specify the name of your variable I have the mongo uri just sort of that here I'm going to specify comma and pass an object and inside this object I'm going to specify some key and value pair so here I'm going to say use new url parser is going to be true then I'm going to specify here use unified topology is going to be true then I'm going to specify use find and modify is going to be false and then I'm going to specify here use create index is going to be true now these properties remove the unwanted console messages that is why I put all these properties inside this connection method now once you've done that just down here I'm going to just simply say console.log and inside it in the backtick operator I'm going to say mongo db connected let me save this file and just down here make sure you export this connect function so you can use it in your server file so I'm going to say here module dot exports is equal to connect that's it now let me just save the changes and back to the server.js and at the top I'm going to first import the connection file so I'm going to say here constant connect is equal to and then I'm going to require the connection file so I'm going to specify database folder and then specify the connection file and just out of this dot env statement just down here I'm going to create a command and say database connection now because we are using the dot env file inside my connection we're going to put this statement after this dot env statement so just down here I'm going to say connect I'm going to call this connect function save this file when I open my terminal you can notice I'm going to have here a message mongodb connected so now you can notice you are successfully connected to the mongodb database now what if you want to print the connection string in that case you can just back to your connection and write down here you can add here dollar curly braces and then specify here connection dot connection property and then you can call here host save this file and when you open your terminal you can notice you're going to have the connection string as a response now make sure you have a wait before this mongo's statement otherwise this statement is going to return an error message this statement is going to take some time to return the mongodb url so make sure you have this await before the mongo's module next i'm going to show you how you can add data inside the mongodb database using post http method 